going on YouTube? Flames are here and I have been reading the comments. I've seen many of you do not enjoy my new hairstyle and that is the, for the reason that I have never gelled it so it's just been like a crazy afro. So today I gelled it since we are heading to Germany and I want to sleep on the plane the entire time so I just want my hair all slicked back. So this is what it looks like when I'm keeping it nice and clean, okay? So no more complaints. But today, I asked for all you to send me tweets with the hashtag AskFlame so I can make this video today before I head out to the airplane, the airport, fly over to Germany. So that's exactly what we're gonna jump into right now. So what I'm gonna be doing is reading the first uh, name of the person who tweeted at me, and then a little pop-up below me will have the actual tweet. So you can read along with the tweet and the question if you do want to do that. So let's jump right into it. First question comes from Team Superiority. What games can you not wait to try at GamesCon? And the answer to that one is, I really want to try as much as I can, but the three main things, obviously, that I want to do is Halo 5, since we'll be playing in the Halo 5 Guardians pre-launch uh, tournament. Uh, there are three other teams in it, or a total of four teams, so three European teams, one American team, which is us. I do want to play some more Taken King while I'm out there. And if I could get my hands on some Black Ops 3, I would like to play that because Black Ops 2 was my favorite Call of Duty, or the Call of Duty that I play the most. MW2 is probably my favorite one. High Rise is holding the light machine gun, holding those big windows, not letting anyone come out of the base. So those are the three main games that I do want to try while I am at, at Gamescom. From Anner, when was your first Halo Championship? So my first Halo Championship was with a team name called Status Quo. It was myself, Ace, Assault, two of my current teammates, and Enable, who is currently on phase and has won back-to-back -back, uh, events in Call of Duty. He was on our team. He was our slayer, our monster. And uh, we won our first tournament in 2011 at Dallas. It was the Halo Reach opener for MLG, and we took the prize. Next, we have Maria, who asks, What do you think about the European girls? Winky face. So, I'm European myself, or technically I'm really American, but my family comes from Europe because we are Portuguese. And I have to say, European girls are incredible. And one thing that I am looking forward to going to Germany is that every event that we ever have in America, we have Australians coming over, English people coming over, and the girls out here just love their accents. So now I'm going to have the chance to have the accent, the American accent, heading over to Germany, and we're going to see just how good it does. Our dude, Halo 5, please hurry, a.k.a. KC, who is a uh, buddy of mine from out here in Chicago, asks, what's it like not having a naval carrying you at events anymore? It sucks. Dude was a monster. He's finally shown why he's a monster in Call of Duty as well, and he's just been able to dominate two different games in his lifetime. So he's an incredible player. I would love to have him back on my team, but I do love the team that we have now. But if he ever does come back, what well, will happen? So we'll just have to wait and find out. Name Ash, most annoying thing about the Optic House. Now, the only complaint I have about the Optic House is that some people were not raised as well as I was. And when I say that, I mean people don't know how to throw their things out. They just keep the house a mess, and it is crazy. And the house has been pretty good. It's only me, Big T, and Maniac that have been in the house until yesterday when Ace just came in. And since he's moved in, or just come in since he's flying uh, with us to Germany, the place has become a complete mess. So there are just specific people who come in and out of the house, who live sometimes at the house, mostly at the house, like Embo's, Krim who leave a mess. Ace especially. Dude just comes in and there's just a mess all over the house now. So it's that is probably the only thing that annoys me in the house because it is one of my huge pet peeves. My OCD kicks in. I just want to clean up everything but I'm like no nah, man they, they gotta learn it. They want to have a dirty house and we're gonna have a dirty house. My room like always will always be clean and I won't let any dirt get in here. Alright? Anthony asks would you rather live a thousand years or live ten lives all a hundred years? So that's an intriguing question. I actually like this. This is out of the ordinary right here. I would say I would rather live a thousand years. So then I could say that I am the one person to have lived a thousand years. I think that would be pretty cool. Ten lives at a hundred years, I feel like you come back all as different people. So you don't really get to have the same experience or hold the same experience, knowledge of the past. 200 years, 300 years, whatever point I am into the 1,000 years of living that I would have versus 10 different lives could be a different person every single time and it's not really me enjoying every lifetime. So I would definitely go with 1,000 years living in one shot, one body. Final question goes to our dude Kane. Who is your favorite YouTuber to watch? This is an easy one. My favorite YouTuber to watch is Joey Weller. Dude is hysterical. I've been watching his videos for I don't know how long and they always bring a smile to my face. They always have me dying of laughter. And it's crazy to see how much more he continues to grow. So I'm always going to be a fan of him. And um, 
He, he just, if you guys haven't checked him out, I suggest you guys go check him out for sure. That is going to do it for today. Oh, I hope you enjoy this little quick Q&A with some funny, cool questions. Uh, next time, be sure to keep your eye on Twitter so when I do do this again, you can possibly get your questions in here. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, leave a comment if you thought some answers were pretty funny, or if you want to just ask me anything at all, leave it in the comments below. As always, this is your boy Flamsher. I'll see you guys later. Hey.